Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a palette review with two looks on the latest palette from Tarte. I am so excited. This is the new Tartlet Juicy palette from them and I feel like it has been a while since Tarte has actually done an eyeshadow palette like not including the holiday stuff that released but like an actual palette. So I was kind of on the fence actually if I wanted to get this or not but then I really do love the color scheme of this one and and if you guys remember, Tarte for the holidays, they came out with a little mini set which had this mini Juicy palette in it and I heard that it was a sneak peek for what's to come. So we have the mini Juicy and the big Juicy. I did see that this set is still available if you guys were wanting to pick it up and get the little one. But I remember when I tried these little palettes out, I was really impressed with this little Juicy palette. I felt like it was very pigmented. I created a really fun kind of pinkish purple look with it and I was really pleased. So I thought I would enjoy this one as well. And these don't have the exact same shades in them. There's only a few repeat shades, so they didn't do a whole repeat. So if you have this, you can still do this one as well because they are kind of different. They just have a few of the same shades, which is kind of what they are going for with these little mini palettes. They have pretty much the same packaging. This is the Juicy palette. I was not sure how big this was going to be because it looked huge in the photos because it comes with a lot of eyeshadows. There's literally 20 shades in this palette and it's about as big as my head. So it's actually pretty much the same size as like their Tartlet Pro palettes. And then you open it up and you have these beautiful pinky rose tone neutral shades. Sorry. Sorry, that thing's coming down there. This is so my vibes, so my color scheme, so I also wanted to pick it up for that. Um, I will say I had a little bit of hesitation and wondering if I wanted to buy it because I'm like, I know I have these shades in other palettes and it's such a neutral color scheme, but you guys know I'm a neutral girl. I have a love for neutral palettes and I can never have enough and I love trying out the latest ones that come out. I love trying from different brands so it doesn't bother me if I have the same color story in something else but I just knew that I would totally wear these shades. I love pink eyeshadow looks. I love bronze tones and there's the pinks, the kind of like bronzy and neutrals in here. So I thought this was perfect and it's also perfect timing as well because I feel like for Valentine's Day a lot of these pinky tones and rose tones are really popular. And I will say, I was actually watching Mel Thompson. Um, she was talking in her, like, Purchase or Pass series that she does about this palette. And she had mentioned that she wants to get it because she wants to see if it's kind of like her Aspen Ovard palette from Tarte that she loves. And I used to love that one, too. And I was like, you know what? I can see some similarities. Now, I don't have the palette with me anymore because it's super old. I decluttered it. But that was one of my favorite favorite palettes from Tarte. And I can see similarities in here, especially with this bronze tone. Um, like the whole bottom two rows kind of looks like the Aspen Ovar palette and then the top two rows kind of look like my other favorite palette from Tarte which is the Love Trust and Fairy Dust. You kind of get that same color scheme with this one as well as that's in here and I've been looking for something to replace this because I need to declutter this. This is getting very old in my collection so I feel like this is kind of perfect. It's like the best of both worlds, the best of my favorite Tarte palettes for me. So this retails for $45 if I did not mention. It has a mixture of mattes and shimmers. There is some more metallic shimmers in there as well and some more natural shimmers but um, I also swatched everything for you so I want to go ahead and insert the swatches here if you guys want to see how it swatches. But yeah, this one definitely had some mixed opinions from people. I feel like Tarte is not a brand that's super popular on YouTube anymore, but I still have such a love for them. I think they make amazing, especially their complexion products are incredible. I have some favorites from them in my collection, and I've noticed them gearing more towards like the fashion bloggers instead of the makeup bloggers right now. I've just noticed that they've been reaching out to a lot of those people instead because it's kind of more for like the everyday person that just wants a really natural, easy to wear makeup look but still have some good quality. It's kind of their target audience. And now I do consider myself, I do a lot of natural looks. I do some color here and there but I'm all about the neutral glam so I do feel like Tarte fits well within my aesthetic. And I like to do easy looks that you guys can create at home, you guys can wear it to work and stuff like that. That's kind of my thoughts on Tarte. I know some people are kind of over them but I, I still really love the brand. So anyways, with that being 
said, I'm going to go ahead and do two looks for you guys today, including this one I have on now. I did one like with the bottom row, which was more natural browns, and I did this like light pink look as well. So let's get into the look. All right, so into the palette for the first time. I'm going to do, I think, two looks with this, do one more pink one and more of a bronze look since we kind of have the pinks on top and the more neutral browns on the bottom. So let's go with bronze first. For my first shade, I'm going to go in with this one called Inspiring, which is kind of like a peach, and put that into the crease. I'm going to go in with Charmed, which is a warm brown, and I'm also going to build that into the crease. I'm really impressed with the pigment on this palette. It seems like the usual tart quality that I'm personally used to from their palettes. We'll use this darker brown into the outer corner called Grounded. This one is a little bit more on the lighter side. But it does blend out really nice. Let me see if I can build it up. Next, I'm going to try the darkest brown in the palette called Euphoria and see if we can build that even on top of there and see how much depth that we can build with this. Oh yeah, this one seems like it's going to be pretty good too. So far, the shades, honestly, the blend is amazing on these. Super easy to work with and it really takes very little effort, which I'm all about. I like a lot of pigment with little to no effort. <laughs> I'm gonna do that mid-tone brown on the lower lash line that was grounded. And then I'm gonna try the shade Dawn on the lid. Now this shade looks like one of my favorite shades that used to be in the Aspen Ovard Tarte Palette, so it looks like it could be a dupe, and I'm curious to see how this is. So let me put this on the eye. I'm getting some metallic, but I like my shadows like super metallic, so it's pretty subtle using a brush. So let me try, of course, and see if it works better with the finger. Oh yeah, much better. Now you get that like foiled effect. I do think that this does remind me of that shade from the Aspen palette, which I loved and I always used. That's the eyes. Really like how that looks. Let me go ahead and finish the rest of the face and I'll be right back. So here is the finished makeup look. I actually tried to use some more Tarte stuff for the complexion, um, like the Tarte Bide Bay blush, which is one of my favorites. These really are so pigmented. It just kind of depends on what brush you use because they can be, when you swatch them, they almost don't look like they have any pigment. But if you use a dense brush, you could really build up the color of the blush. So beautiful, and then I also did my Tarte Park of Princess Bronzer, which I've had for a long time, and I've hit paint on it. It's one of my go-tos, and also from Tarte, I went ahead and used their Sugar Coat um, Cupcake Lip like Mousse. This is from the Sugar Rush line from them which is like a really velvety liquid lip. So that is what I did for this look. I'm probably gonna keep most of this makeup on and we'll do another look with this palette so you guys can have like two ideas and we can test out more shades in here and I'll do something a little bit more pink, but this is like my go-to. Glam, so beautiful. I love these bronzy tones, just like shimmery metallic bronze. I'm all about it. So really like this first look so far. All right guys, on to look two if the makeup looks a little crazy. We'll fix it, no worries. I had to just wait my makeup off and start over so we could do a fun pinky rose toned look with this. So first thing I would like to do, I'm going to try out this wishful shade just all over the lid. I just put primer on again, so I'm going to go ahead and set that down. For in the crease, I'm going to go ahead and take Blossom, which is this very light pink shade right here, and blend that in. The shade is extremely light, very pastel, so it doesn't really show up on me, but if you guys use like a white base or a white crayon and wanted to use it like all over the lid, then it should show up, but yeah, it's like one of those pastels that just doesn't really want to show up on at least my skin. 
So I do want to build that up. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Rose and put that in the same crease area. And that one's going to give us a really pretty soft pink. That one had a lot more pigment to it. Next, I'm going to go with Petal. And I'm going to put this one also in the crease. And that one has a little bit more peachiness to it, but still a really beautiful color. Everything's very soft, very blendable. Again, I'm really impressed with the quality here. And then I'm going to go in with Luscious, which is this dark brown. And we'll do that in the outer corner. I do think that this palette could have used like a darker purple in here to really deepen up and do more of a pinky purple look. But I do tend to go for more browns myself, so I don't mind. But I think that really could have made the palette even better so I'm kind of going to blend a little bit of this dream chaser color in the outer corner as well and see if we can make it look a little bit more like berry berry toned and I don't always love to use like shimmers in the crease they don't usually work yeah that one's not going to work whenever I try to do that I always get like major fallout if you do want to use those shimmers it's probably best just to use your finger and tap it in So normally with this look, I would probably go for more of this dark brown in the crease, but I wanted to use those top two rows and do something that we haven't done. But I think adding in a little bit of the Dream Chaser shade in the outer corner did help a bit, make it look a little bit more purple. I'm going to wet this mini shader brush and go into that same dark purple called Dream Chaser and do that on the lower lash line because this will really build up that purple color. On a wet brush, I'm going to go in with Paradise, which is this light peachy pink shimmer, and place this on the lid. This one's not as foiled as the previous shimmer that we used called Dawn. That one was a lot more foiled. This one does apply well with just a brush, and it's more of just a shimmer, but it still gives a really nice look. This look actually kind of reminds me of the Pure and Barbie look that I did the other day on YouTube, too. All right, so just kind of blending all that out. And I'm gonna pop a little bit in the inner corner. I'm gonna take this water lily color and place that in the inner corner. So I think that's what I wanna do with this one. Just kind of a soft, romantic, lighter pink look. Something you could do for Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup because I do have a lot to fix up. Uh, I did get some fallout there with that shimmery color, so I look super pink under my eyes, so I need to fix that, and I'll be right back. Alright, so here is the finished look for this pink look. I did add a little bit of Ofra Glaze Donut Highlighter. I added lashes as well for more dramatic effect, and I also changed my lipstick to the Lawless Lipstick in Platinum, which is this beautiful light baby pink. So we kind of have the whole pink vibe going on, the pink eyes, the pink cheeks, the pink lips. But I love it. Pink is one of my favorite colors and I love to wear it as well. I think it did also come out really beautiful and I'll have everything linked down below that I used. But let's get into my final thoughts. Alright, so I want to give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. Overall, I am very pleased with this. I thought the quality was excellent. It totally reminds me of my old school Tarte quality in my Aspen palette and my Love Trust and Fairy Dust. These are my favorites and I feel like the quality is definitely up there with that. The shades were very soft, so easy to blend out. They had great pigmentation, which is everything I look for in a palette. I would say really the only disappointment is that I do feel like it needs a darker purple because even the little Juicy palette has a darker purple in it. So I was surprised they didn't take one from here and put it in there because this one kind of has more of those dark berries while this one is missing that. I feel like you could do a lot more purpley looks if we had maybe a couple of those mattes in here instead of the lighter tones. So I feel like that could have made it better, but overall, I personally think this is a palette I'm gonna reach for a ton. I go for these shades for every day. These are the kind of shades that make me feel beautiful, and I thought the quality it was great as well. The only issue I had was with that shimmer. Trying to use that in the outer corner it was definitely a mistake. I totally used the wrong brush for that, but I, I think this is a great palette. Of course, um, some of you guys may have this whole color scheme already in your collection, and that's totally cool, but if you guys do wanna try something new and try out Tarte again, 
I really think this is a great formula and I would recommend it. I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and finally declutter this guy and just keep this. I know I think this is limited edition though. I really wish they would make this permanent because I think it's a great addition to the Tarte line. I think everyone could use this. It's a perfect natural everyday type of palette. So I would recommend this. I, don't sleep on Tarte you guys. They really have some amazing products as I showed you as well. Like some of my favorite cheek products from them too that I just love so much. But yeah, this palette was definitely a win for me, and let me know if you guys are going to try this one. Hopefully, this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.